Welcome back guys, High Side Broadcasting coming back to you guys again here today. Again, on the 2002 Racing Series game, we are here for race number two. Might as well do it while I've got the time, right? Now, like I said before, this series, really excited to get this series going. I love this series a lot. And um, I put a lot of time into making all these cars, making all the ratings, um, making all the drivers, getting the season ready and all that. But here we are, race number two. We're at Rockingham. We're in North Carolina. Let's get into it. So, um, of course, we were at Daytona. We had all the cars. We had Connor Daly, Jimmy Johnson, Travis Pastrana, Zane Smith, Chandler Smith. A whole bunch of open cars. Um, I do have some guys that will run races throughout the year, especially the road courses, of course, Kimi Raikkonen, Shane Van Gisbergen, guys like that. But for the ovals, there will be guys like Zane Smith will run, Chandler Smith will run. Um... Of course, all the different drivers that run the 15, the 51, the 78, those guys will get an opportunity as well. Um, and we'll just see who the game puts in for some of these. Some of them is random, like, and and we'll, we'll just we'll just see. We'll leave it up to the game. But here we are, Rockingham, North Carolina. We're going to have 36 cars rather than 42 in this one. And the number will change on a weekly basis, like I said. And um, really excited to get this thing going. Try to adjust the camera. All right, let's go in. North Carolina, baby. Oh, no. I don't think that was good. I didn't know the game did that. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. It changed back to 42. All right, maybe it's just fair. All right, we might be all right. We should, you know what? We should be all right. I saw the number of cars change from 42 to 36, and I thought that was permanent. Obviously, if that's the case, it won't let us. <laughs> Be a lot of waste of time for me on the other cars if that's the case. Hopefully, it's not. Regardless. Entry list. Of course, there's us. Um, BJ McLeod back to do another one. Cody Ware back to do another one. But we have Brennan Poole in the 15 this week rather than JJ Yaley. Fast forward through practice. Remember, Elliot ran that wicked fast time to open up the season at Daytona. That had to have been a glitch. Um, Kyle Larson fresh off a win. He's only 11th in practice right now, 12th now, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Rockingham, Denny Hamlin at the top of the charts tied with Bell and 1,000th on Byron. So those cars very close, obviously. As we look down through the field, looks like Larson's up to uh, third. All right, Larson will be fine, but... Down here, just scrolling through, seeing who who's where. You know, Ricky Stenhouse let that Daytona race get away from him. 18th, he's got to try and stay in playoff contention. Um, down at the bottom, Cody Ware, Ty Dillon, McLeod. Looks like Brennan Poole ahead of Priest, ahead of Gregson. Michael McDowell, okay after that flip at Daytona. Um, not going to miss any races. No injuries or minor injuries, if any. Michael McDowell in 20th, a massive massive flip at Daytona. We saw that, and uh, that was insane, but he's 20th fastest right now. His teammate, 28th fastest. They are racing up there at the top of the board. Logano now into the mix. Looks like Bell's going to get it. We come down to the end of practice. Bell's got it. More importantly, who's going to get the pull? Larson won the pull, won the race last week. Joey Logano at the top of the board. I may not do practice and warm up every time, but since we're still fresh and new and I'm not annoyed with it, we'll do it. Who's going to be fast in warm up? Looks like Brennan Poole qualified 30th and then a Rick Ware car. That means he beat a, quite a bit of cars. Austin Dillon, yikes, 31st. Gregson, Burton, McLeod, Dillon, Ware. Yikes. Amarola um, fresh off a top five at Daytona. Looks like the Stuart Haas car is still struggling, all of them. Harvick the only one salvaging a top ten. Seventh, obviously, right now. Or that was qualifying. Let's look at warm-up. Kyle Busch, fastest in warm-up right now. William Byron, Hamlin again at the top. Reddick, fold me at Daytona here. I thought he was racing for the win. He was a lap down. All right. Joey Logano. Denny Hamlin, going to lead us. 
off. Rockingham, here we are. Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin. We know how good Logano is at new tracks. We saw what he did at uh, Bristol Dirt, the LA Coliseum. There was another one that he won that was new. Gateway. Here he is, Rockingham. None of these guys raced on Rockingham. Joey Logano on the pull. Is he going to get the win? Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Ross Chastain, Bell, Truex, Harvick, Blaney. Green flag is in the air. Race number two is underway. Logano to the race lead. There's a lot going on here. Much smaller track. We'll go just like that, hoping we don't miss any wrecks if they are to happen. We saw a massive wreck, like I said, at Daytona. One caution. That caution was obviously well worth it. The race and pretty hard further back in the pack, actually. Let's go back. I don't know, about 20th, right? Michael McDowell. Oh, somebody way wide almost into the wall. Oh, we got a wreck. Justin Healy, Austin Sendrick into the wall. Turned, oh, big, massive crash. Are you serious? Oh, we got a car upside down for the second week in a row. Is it McDowell again? Is it Michael McDowell again? It is. What in the world? They can't seem to keep that car on the ground. What in the world? Justin Haley and Austin Sindrick turned each other early in this race. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to make a freaking highlight reel. Michael McDowell, two weeks, two flips. Not near as violent as uh, Daytona, but my gosh. You don't see that in NASCAR every day. Well, maybe you do. Just figure we ride along, you know, qualified 20th. What happened? Right there, Haley and, and Cindric. Poor Suarez couldn't get away from it. Oh, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Just kind of got lifted by the cars around him. Oh, my goodness. Michael McDowell, two weeks, two flips to open up this season. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Haley and, and let's ride along with Justin Haley. Is he still in this race, but he's got a little bit of damage. Right here, he just got together with Austin Sindrick. Austin Sindrick kind of came up on him. Sindrick definitely came up on him. Oh, my goodness. That's just unheard of. The same car. The same car flips twice. That's just unheard of. Jeez, man. And we're going to have a lot of cars. Let's see Let's see what the death toll is here. It looks like nobody's out of the race, including Michael McDowell. Um, I'm rolling McLeod, Haley, McDowell, all lap down. Five laps. I hope this isn't going to be a wreck fest. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I hope it's not. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? That's just unheard of. Let's look at it from the two's perspective. Austin Sindrick, because it definitely looked like he came up. Oh, I believe we're about to go green here pretty soon. Just came off the corner. Uh, I'm not sure. They just kind of came together. Poor McDowell. Jeez, massive crash. A lot of cars involved. I don't know. This one could be crazier in Daytona, boys. Denny Hamlin at the point. Under caution. Early here at Rockingham. My gosh. All right, so we're going to be getting the green, hopefully, this lap. Yep, lights are off on the pace car, so we're going to get the green this lap. And there's the double file restarts. There they are. Is that, is that Almarola? That's Almarola. Of course, Haley. Oh, you can see the damage done. 
they had to take the hood off. That slows the car down a lot, so that car looks like Michael McDowell. Gonna be slow the rest of the day, but at least he's able to continue if another wreck happens, which might be pretty likely. Maybe not. There's, you know, single file restarts, but... Yep, Almirola, BJ McLeod, Justin Haley, Michael McDowell. The four cars a lap down. Precaution comes out right now. Almirola would be the free pass. Hamlin, Chastain, Logano. Top three. Green flag is back in the air. Here we go. Definitely, definitely got to go spectator here and watch this whole thing in case something crazy happens again. I mean, I like to see Rex, but I don't want this series to become a joke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so we'll see what happens. Denny Hamlin trying to drive away early. Breaking away so far. Gotta go back in the pack. Who are we gonna jinx this time? Let's go Kyle Bush. Right about 13th, 12th, 13th, 12th. All right, about, oh, three wide, almost contact. Is that the six? Yeah, yep, that was a six of Brad Kozlowski right there. You see Chase Elliott right behind him. Hopefully he'll work his way to the front. Kyle Larson fresh off a win at Daytona. I believe he was ahead of that accident. He definitely should have been ahead of that accident. Right behind Elliott. Yeah. Then Bowman. So, well, all 400 cars are together. You got those three, and then you got Byron right there. So all four of those cars, all 400 cars are around the 10th spot. Lap car is going to make a difference. You got BJ McLeod kind of holding the outside line up. Looks like Chase Elliott going to get around in there. Going to lose a spot to his teammate Bowman. No, he's not. He had a good run off the corner. Going to get clear of Bowman pretty easily. All right. Uh, Martin Truex, Justin Haley, a lap car. Maybe not close there. Let's look at the intervals here. Looks like some guys are falling off pretty quickly already. 10 seconds back. Noah Gregson. We have a lot of cars a lap down here now. A lot of cars. Let's go right along with the 11. He's driving away from this field. His buddy, Chastain, to second. We already can see some lap cars ahead. That really tells you just how, you know, off the cars can be when, I mean, heck, when they have damage. Like, you know, and like we saw the 34 car, the hood is gone on that car. Oh, caution's out again. I thought maybe there was something going on. Anybody around? Looks like you look like you have a run damage. What happened to you? That's kind of how you got to figure it out when you didn't see what happened. Oh, there was smoke ahead of him here. Go in the cockpit. You see some smoke up here. Yeah, they're all slowing down here. Who wrecked? Wonder if it's behind him. Is it the seventy eight? Oh, seventy eight, maybe, because he was a lap car. Not really sure here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, maybe not. Not sure. Denny Hamlin's still out front. Couldn't have been too bad. I don't see anybody really 
any issues there. But yeah, quite a bit of cars a lap down. We're only 15 laps into this race. With the second caution, at least I don't think anybody flipped. Not that time, but... Uh, Not sure. Hopefully the lights will come off of the uh, pace car this time. Almarola is still the first car lap down. Did he get his lap back though? I'd hope. They do do. I know they do the free pass on here. Austin Dillon, Austin Cindric, Brennan Poole, Ricky Stenhouse, two laps down. Accredited Brennan Poole in his qualifying run for a top 30. Race not going near as well. Of course, his teammate Cody Ware is up to 22nd. But, uh, just gotta see what happens here. Sixteen laps. We got sixty-three to go. Coming to sixty-three to go. Obviously, they fire off much faster lap times here than they do at Daytona, so the laps will go by a lot faster. But still, is the lights gonna go off the pace car this time? Yes, you can see double file. All right, cool. Austin Dillon, Austin Cindric, Eric Almarola. You can see the lap cars there on the bottom. Leave the 15 of Brennan Poole as well down there. Then on the top, again, Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain, Joey Logano. We will see what happens. Again, don't mind Rex. Don't mind Rex every now and then. Don't mind big Rex. <laughs> Let's get some racing in. <laughs> but I already know it's going to be mayhem when we go to Bristol. I uh, did a practice at Bristol. Bristol's kind of insane, but it's good racing. But All right, here we go. Pace car is off. Coming to lap 18 of 79. Already 18 minutes into this, and we're at 18 laps into the race. Here we go. Gotta go spectator mode. Gotta. You just gotta. Gotta see the whole field here so you don't miss nothing. Austin Dillon firing off all cylinders here pretty early, looking to get his lap back. Oh, no, that's Ross Chastain, sorry. Ross Chastain all on Denny Hamlin trying to take the lead. He's a little faster than Denny right now, it looks like. Way up the track and completely missed the corner there was Ross Chastain. Gonna allow is that Truex? Yeah, Martin Truex to get to him. No, it's Austin Dillon. What am I talking about? Sorry guys. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. We're racing now, looks like. It's good. In the back of the field here, Ty Dillon gets to see everything that's going on in front of him. Sliding into the corners. There's Kyle Larson not running great right now. Blaney, Bush, Elliott. Oh, maybe they're not as far back as... No, they're not. No, it's just all lap cars. They're not as far back as what I thought. 
Justin Haley, obviously, an eventful lap one, or lap two, I guess, lap one, lap two, whatever it was, getting turned. And, uh, of course, it sparked a massive crash, as we saw. Um, pretty insane. Michael McDowell ends up upside down for two weeks into the season. Both weeks, he's upside down. Um, we'll see if he can't go three for three next week, wherever we're at. I'm not sure where it is, where we're at next week. Not sure. Denny Hamlin quick. Him and Chastain have drove off from the field. They've got two seconds on third place Reddick and fourth place Logano. And they've got Truex and Harvick right there with them. And then they kind of have a pretty big gap between themselves and then Byron and Wallace and Blaney, Larson, Elliott, Busher, Bush, Almond. It looks like everybody else is kind of under a blanket, but. Yeah, now that we're under green, we're starting to click some laps off pretty quickly. Almost to lap 30 already. But lap cars. Well, I guess Cody Ware, Ty Dillon, Daniel Suarez, I guess they're about half a lap down. So not too much longer. We'll see how far off they really are right here. They're about 10.1, 0.2, and 0.3. And we'll see. Here we go. 10.67 and 8. So not only a few tenths a lap, but... Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain stay in a pretty good gap over Tyler Reddick in third. Probably going to see a lot of these two this season. We know in real life these two don't necessarily get along. Here they are racing for the win. Ross Chastain super aggressive. Denny Hamlin has been aggressive. There it is. Chastain looking underneath Denny Hamlin for the pass. Not going to get underneath him. He might on exit. Almost there. Oh, he is almost. Trying not to run into Denny. As they are pulling away from third place now. You can see it's almost up to three seconds. We've got 40. We've got 50 to go. 50 to go. all the cautions I'm not sure when they're gonna need to pit they should need to pit at some point though maybe they can do it cleaner than what they did last week obviously we saw Austin Hill Austin uh Cindric, neither of them lifted going into the pits Austin Hill had to have been speeding <laughs> he had to have been speeding I mean, he flew in there so fast. Olsen Sindrick flew in there, too. They both wrecked a whole bunch of guys, brought out the first. Well, that wasn't a caution. I remember that was not a caution, but definitely a, a wreck and incident. Go check that out if you guys missed that Daytona. Um, by the time this is out, Daytona should definitely be out. So hopefully this video goes a little faster in Daytona. A little bit less of a preview, of course, because that was the first race, but... Go see what's going on back here. Tyler Reddick right in front of Logano. Martin Truex, I think, unless that's Dylan. Nope, Truex. Harvick, and then he got a lap car in Almirola and Austin Sindrick. Not a good start to the season for Austin Sindrick. Almirola, great last week, finishing a top five finish. Same with Harvick. Harvick in sixth right now, trying to back that up. But, uh... Almarolo, of course, a lap down involved in that early incident. First car a lap down. Cindric must be two laps down. Yeah. Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, a little bit of contact there off of turn four. They're clicking off laps way faster in Daytona. Of course, cautions at Daytona suck because it's a very long caution period. But 
you know, you don't mind it so much at Bristol, Martinsville. Of course, this one's not that bad either. Truex sideways off of turn four. Slipping, sliding around a little bit. Hamlin and Chastain now have almost three and a half seconds on Tyler Reddick. You got Byron, Larson, Ole, Hendricks struggling a little bit. The best one is Byron, and he's 7th, and then Larson and Elliott, 10th and 11th. Of course, their uh, expectations are quite a bit higher than that. Larson fresh off a win at Daytona, like I said, and then Bowman in 14th. So they're not doing bad. I mean, they're all between 7th and 14th, but none of them are, I mean, really competing for the win right now, which is surprising. Typically, somebody is, but nobody is right now. Ryan Priest quite a bit better than last week, of course, finishing six laps down or seven laps down. No, I think he got a lap back. He was six laps down when he finished. But running 23rd right now, Noah Gragson right behind his teammate Eric Jones in 21st and 22nd. Ty Dillon, Cody Ware managing to steal in the lead lap right now. Suarez, I believe he was involved in an incident. That's why he's back in 24th. Um... Blaney, man. Blaney, he's one to talk about after last week. He was leading at Daytona. And then the whole incident with Michael McDowell flipping through the air. It started with Corey LaJoy turning McDowell. A whole bunch of cars got involved. Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, Ricky Stenhouse, Daniel Suarez were the four up front. Blaney and Bowman got tore up. Blaney tore up out of the lead. And he ends up with one point. One point. He finished his... Almost last, but he ends up with one point with uh, today's point standings. Of course, if you guys know, um, we're doing this game keeps track of the standings, but I'm also going to keep track of the real life standings, and that's what we'll go by. Um, of course, we'll look at what the game has going on, but Blaney one point rebounding nice though inside the top 10. Um, Bubba Wallace, a great run so far in eighth. Um, Harvick in fifth. Everybody else you kind of expect. Truex really missing a lot of these corners, though. But Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain, those two are gone. I mean, they're staying together, too, but they are gone. I kind of think Ross is a little faster than Denny. He just hasn't found a way by him. Um, hopefully this race will stay green. Hopefully we won't get a caution. We've had our fair share of cautions. I love cautions, but I don't want every race to be caution fest. And so far, the first two races have not been. One caution last week, two this week. Go ahead and check who's a lap down, who's two laps down, struggling. Austin, the Austins, man. Cindric, Dillon, both two laps down. Um, BJ McLeod has fallen two laps down. Brennan Poole, Ricky Stenhouse, almost won Daytona. Almost won it, just like real life was leading on the last lap and almost did what he did in real life, which would have been super ironic. Gets passed by Kyle Larson on the last lap and running 35th this week. You know, of course, not locked into the playoffs because he didn't win. He needs to do better than 35th, obviously. Ricky Stenhouse struggling, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with it um, with old Ricky, but. Almost four seconds back now is, is Reddick. And he's got a small gap over Logano, Truex, Harvick, and then pretty big gap back to Bubba Wallace, Byron, Blaney, Elliot Larson. I guess Busher and Kyle Busch kind of involved in half a second, but about five tenths. But yeah, those guys all under a blanket racing really hard, 7th to 12th, 13th, but... Let's go back to Denny Hamlin, see what's going on at the race lead. Him and Chastain obviously have checked out. Those two very fast this week. Ross has not found a way around Denny. Oh, 
But he's looking under him right here. He has a run, but he just doesn't get the run off. Hamlin runs a little bit higher, gets a pretty good run off the corner. We are now down to 31 to go. 30 to go this time by. I'd imagine they have to pit. Hamlin, a little bit of a gap there on Ross now. Coming up on some lap traffic, and we all know that that's going to make a big difference in this race. Not only is it going to present an opportunity for Ross maybe to get by Denny, or maybe Denny to pull away. So we see a couple lap cars ahead. Reddick, Logano, they could run these guys down if you know these guys can't get around the lap traffic. And uh, obviously that means they're running lap traffic pace, because if they can't get by them, they're stuck behind them. And next thing you know, these guys are going to be running Hamlin and Ross down. So we'll see what happens. Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain checked out right now. Of course, any driver news, we're only two races into the season, but any driver news, I'll, I am going to make all the contracts that I have down for all the drivers um, published and, and put out there for you guys. But, and then any driver news later in the season, of course, will be announced, but... You know, any teams, any charter cells, etc. Lap traffic, the 51 of Cody Ware, 77 of Ty Dillon, side by side in front of Hamlin and Ross. They're just going to run the bottom. Ty Dillon's passing Ware. And Hamlin underneath Ty Dillon. Not going to quite get there. He is there now. Good. Good job, All right? So they didn't waste too much time behind uh, behind these guys. Still green. I thought maybe I heard a car get thrown into the fence, but still green as we've got 25, 26 to go. Still four seconds back. Reddick, he's not gaining. And... We'll see if he gains this lap, because now Reddick's going to obviously have to get by those guys as well. I don't know. Is it going to go down? Is it going to go up? It went up by a tenth, so Hamlin and Ross Chastain still pulling away from Reddick. Joey Logano, they have quite the gap. Four seconds now, these two putting on a clinic, but these two are sticking together. They're staying close. See what happens come at the end of the race. Never count anything out. We know what happens last week. Ryan Blaney will tell you all about it. Twenty four to go. We may not we may not see a pit, I'm not sure. We might. Still twenty four to go, but we'll see. Obviously a pit throws a whole wrench into this race. If everybody's gotta come down pit road. A lot of things can happen. Saw last week. Then he's put a small gap on Chastain. Chastain kind of lets him get away, and then he runs him down. Kind of lets him get away, and then he runs him down. This might be the biggest gap, though, Denny's been able to put on Ross. Uh, we got pits. Pit road. Denny Hamlin comes down pit road first. There it is. 22 coming to 21 to go. Or no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 coming to 21 to go. Hamlin comes down pit road. Now we're going to have to watch, obviously, the rest of the field. But, you know, Ross, does he come down? Now Ross comes down one lap later. So now we're going to have to watch Denny. Is he able to beat out Ross or not? Ross is already coming down pit road. Denny's taking tires, too. He took right sides. Only right sides. Does not take lefts. What does Ross do? Ross coming around. Long pit road. Pulls into his pit stall. We're watching these two in particular. Danny took rights. Ross was taking rights. Coming 
coming out. Looks like everybody's taking rights. Does Raddick take rights too? Probably. All right, where's Denny? Don't see him back there. Oh, do I? Yeah, it's caution out. Yellow is out. Are you serious? And now Denny Hamlin's a lap down. Elliot's around. Ty Dillon, they probably wreck going into pit road again. Oh my gosh. A lot of cars involved in a wreck here. Looks like it was already out up here. Try and see what happened. Oh my gosh. Another car upside down. Ty Dillon. All right, let's go see what happened with Ty Dillon. Looks like they're already wrecking in front of him. All right, the 14, <laughs> the culprit again. As to what happened potentially. Oh my gosh, he ran into the pace car. Are you serious? He ran into the pace car. Everybody ran into him. What brought the caution out? Briscoe, Burton, they're done. There must have been a separate incident at this point. Looking for Hamlin. Do you guys see him? Oh, oh, there he is, ninth. Bell's done. What in the world? Oh, goodness. I don't know what the culprit was of that. Right there. So something's going on right here. Right here. All right. Could be Corey LaJoy again, guys. It, it could be the seven car again. All right. This is it. We found it. Corey LaJoy into the corner. Blows the corner. So does the 43 and the 99. That's weird. He comes off, and the 99 turns the 15, and just a big wreck. I mean, that's racing. I don't care if that happens. That's looks like a racing incident. Um, Chase Briscoe running into the pace car is just dumb. But <laughs> green flag's back in the air. Bubba Wallace is out front. Denny Hamlin. The first car a lap down virtually. Oh, we got another wreck. Big wreck going on back in the back here. Goodness, guys. All right. What happened here? The 10 got turned. Came off the corner. 22 turned him. Kind of cleared himself in front of the car, but... Logano is already slow. The 9's in it. 31's in it. Everybody's wrecking. Is there a free pass? This is... is Alright, this is going to be interesting. Did Denny Hamlin get the free pass? He should. Free pass is on here, I'm pretty sure. Sorry about that. Kick the thing.
gonna try and find it again. There we go. All right, Bubba Wallace, Kyle Busch. And there's a lap car between them. And then Logano, lap car between him, Chastain. A lap down. Jeez, the two guys that dominated this race, Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain, neither of them going to get credited with the victory. Going to be interesting. Can Bubba Wallace steal a win the second race of the season? And Bubba got Kyle Busch, Joey Logano. Logano's been fast. Logano's been about third or fourth all race. Um, Elliot Larson, Elliot was involved in that wreck and probably going to lose a lap. Quite a bit of cars out of this race. Reddick Bell, some notables. Ty Dillon was involved. We saw him go in the air. All right. We're down to 12 to go. And this has been an insane race. All right, looks like Chase, he's only going to be 10 seconds back. I thought he was going to lose a lap because he didn't have too much damage from that wreck, I don't believe. But, yeah, pretty pretty crazy incident there. Bubba Wallace, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Ty Gibbs, Martin Truex, Kyle Larson, and Chase Elliott. I guess there is no free pass. I thought there was. Denny Hamlin should have gotten it. He's going to be racing Eric Jones. I guess Denny just needs to pass Bubba and hope for a caution. But yeah, crazy, crazy incidents here. Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain dominated this race. Caution comes out during pit cycles, traps them both a lap down. Bubba Wallace, Kyle Busch end up out front. Joey Logano right there. Um... I don't know if there's any notables, like guys that ran really well and finished top five last week that are f top five right now. Larson, I mean, Larson won last week. He's f sixth right now. Um, a lot of cars a lap down here, obviously. Some are two, some are three laps down. A lot of cars out of the race. All due to an accident, no mechanical failures. Single file. Not double file this time. I guess they're just picking and choosing. I'm not sure how this works. Tip it, I, we've seen both, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But Denny Hamlin going to try and get his lap back here. Do whatever he can. We're going to have 10 to go when we get the green. Can Kyle Busch get by Bubba Wallace? Can Joey Logano? Logano has his hood off, too, so Logano's not going to be fast. But because seven cars are on the lead lap, he's going to get a good finish unless another big wreck happens. And we're going to go to spectators so then we can see if a wreck happens. You can see already just big gaps between the, the cars. This race will end under caution if a caution happens late enough in the race. Obviously, no overtime. Benny Hamlin looking to get by Bubba. He's there, too. He's going to go right by Bubba. Kyle Busch going to try and go with him. He's not going to get by Bubba. All right, nothing crazy happens. Let's go to full screen here. Elliot and Larson hoping to pick off as many cars as possible. And then hoping for a caution. Denny almost getting by Bubba. Kyle Busch is there. We've got nine to go. Benny Hamlin dominated this race. Him and Chastain were gone. Caution comes out. Both of them are still running well. A lap down. They're still going to get top ten finishes. They should. Unless something happens. But Denny all over Bubba Wallace. Can tell he's clearly faster. But just can't get the run off the corner. Logano's hanging there with no hood on that car. He's trying to take second from Kyle Busch. Is Bubba Wallace going to lock his way into the playoffs already? Second race of the season, and it could happen. It could happen. Bubba Wallace out front early. Or not early, late. 
Seven to go. Step number one, Denny's got to get by Bubba. Step number two, Kyle Busch then has to get by Bubba. And Denny is there, and Kyle Busch is there. Kyle Busch clear of Bubba Wallace. Bubba missed the corner. Denny's now on the lead lap. Bush misses the corner. Here comes the 23. Bubba Wallace back out front. And now the 22 is into this conversation. Bush going to get him on the outside. Bush, the 22, run the outside. Maybe that's planned. Bubba back to the lead. Now the one car looking to get back on the lead lap. Five to go. And Ty Gibbs is trying to enter this conversation. Bush, Logano, they're stuck behind Ross Chastain. Bubba trying to drive away. For a minute, I thought Kyle Busch was going to get it. If Logano wins this race with no hood, <laughs> that's just insane. Three to go. Not sure if anybody's going to get there. Denny, hoping for a caution. Ross needs to get by the 23 car now. I mean, at this point, if a caution comes out, the race is probably over. Two to go. Yeah, race is definitely over if a caution comes out now. Bubba's going to have to miss the corner if anything's going to gonna happen or, or come of this, this race. And he runs high, but that's not going to be enough. The one car is going to probably get loose. Yep, off the corner. Loses all the momentum, the 23. White flag is in the air. Bubba Wallace is out front at Rockingham. And unless he blows this corner, he doesn't. Off a of turn number four, the 23 of Bubba Wallace. He's going to win. And into the playoffs. Goes the 23 car. That's insane. Opening up this season. A lot of wrecks, a lot of DNFs, a lot of crazy things. Denny Hamlin not going to be happy. Ross Chastain not going to be happy with how this race went. I'm sure Bubba Wallace isn't complaining. And the final results are right here. We will see what the game has for the standings, and then I will post the standings um, after this video is out. Bubba freaking Wallace into the playoffs. Larson still leads the points. He got two top fives to open up this season. Las Vegas, maybe that one will be good. It's still a 42. Las Vegas, maybe it'll be a little bit more realistic. But, uh, yeah, insane. Insane. So the Larson, two top fives. A couple guys have two top tens. The 11, the 5, the 4, the 54. Uh, most laps led after two races go to, to Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. Um, laps completed. It's always interesting to look at. All these guys right here have completed every lap, meaning they've been on the lead lap both races. But crazy standings, crazy stuff going on here. Um, I'd imagine the real-life playoff standings is probably close to this, so right around here is the cut line, obviously. Of course, if you go way down here, you can see um, Connor Daly, the best driver with one start right now, ahead of Busher, Reddick, Dillon, not good. Races for them. McDowell is two for two on flips. Flipped at Daytona. Flipped at Rockingham. Ty Dillon flipped at Rockingham. Insane. Um, Michael McDowell, obviously, 36 in points. He's got to do better. Um, he's a threat to potentially point his way into the playoffs. So each race matters pretty big for him. Chase Briscoe, 40th in points right now. 43 guys, and he's made both races. Chase Briscoe, two DNFs. He's just looking to finish one of these races at this, at this point, but 
see you guys at Las Vegas. Peace out.